Hello, welcome again, and uh, I had a thought come through my mind uh, yesterday. Um, it's been stirring, and it's been uh, building up to this point where I can share this with you. And uh, the, my bishop uh, the other day wanted to remind us in the church uh, that, that we're truly in the last times, or, or, th or the last days as they speak of them in the scriptures, and and he read some very interesting scripture. Uh, you didn't go very far. I only read the first verse, but I wanted to have a chance to read this and, and go into it in a little more depth. Um, as we're reading in the second epistle of Paul, the apostle to Timothy, in chapter 3, verses 1 through 6, we get some added insight on what kind of days we would expect or what they would um, suggest would exist in the last days. Um, because I, I bet to them some of these things would have been quite foreign to them, but uh, even in their culture. Um, I'll go into that in a minute, but I want to read a little bit to you right now. And uh, In uh, chapter 3, verse 1, we read, This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Verse 2 goes on and says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and unholy. Verse 3, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. 4, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. 6. I have to scroll down. Uh, for this sort are they which creep into houses, and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. You know, sometimes you got to look at these things on, on, you know, in the scriptures, and it kind of take them with a grain of salt, but also try to imagine what Paul is seeing. You know, the, uh, the, these are prophets, these are apostles, these are people who have been shown the future, and they, they're people who are able to see what our day looked like. And, and to describe something with such explicit detail is, is amazing to me. And verse 6, I think, is, is the most amazing of them. Who, who else can, can determine what verse 6 could mean? Would it not seem that he was talking about pornography? Could it not seem that he was talking about how how things creep into our homes through the antenna or through the cable to give us um, entertainment that, that the world thinks is okay? Um, and so we, we are truly are in the last days. And, you know, and, and if we're prepared, we will not fear. And so that's my message for you today, to remember that, you know, that if we do all that we can to put on the armor of God, as, as Paul also suggests that we do, and to be armed with our shields, our swords, and, and, and do what we know what is right, uh, we, we will be able to withstand the evil day, which has certainly come to us. And these things I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.